I'm Bucky. And who we cosplay guys? A Lady Loki. Okay, the important thing is not to panic. And how long have you been cosplaying? Three years. Uh, and did you make this costume? I did. I made all of it. Hand sewn it. <gasps> well, you look just like Loki. Thank you. What made you want to do this cosplay? Something different. I've always done Winter Soldier, but I just spiced it up and decided to do Loki. And who would you want to get stuck on an island with? Ooh. Hmm. Probably Captain America. Sorry. Just Team Cap. Cool. What's your favorite quote from the character? Favorite what? Quote from the character. Ooh. I'll have to go with Bucky Barnes and Captain America saying I'm with you to the end of the line. Where can we find you online? I'm on Instagram with at Lady Bucky and Facebook at Stephanie Barnes. Okay. We'd like to end our interviews with a little dance. If your character does not dance, then you can make up your own. Hi, my name is Val. What's your name? My name is Alex. And who are you cosplaying as? I am cosplaying as Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed. My name is Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Like my father before me, I am an assassin. Cool! And did you make this costume? Um, most of it. My wife helped me with some of it. I bought some parts and then I also commissioned this from a friend. Um, but most of the other stuff was made by ourselves, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been cosplaying? Just about three years. It's been fairly recent. Why did you want to do this cosplay? So, to be perfectly honest, it's the most comfortable one I have. And the other thing is, uh, it's very fancy, it's elaborate, it's got a lot of stuff on it, and uh, I think it looks really nice. Who would you want to get stuck on an island? Oh, gosh. Who would I want to be stuck on an island with? Um, I would want to be stuck on an island with somebody who's a really good writer so that he could write me a whole bunch of books and I can just read them. How are you liking the con so far? It's been so, it's been amazing. How do you like it? I really like it. Good. We just got here. Cool. We just took a lap. <laughs> What's your favorite quote from a character? My favorite? Quote from a character? Oh. So it's Vittoria Ali Assassini. Victory to the Assassins. Oh, okay. And where can we find you online? Sure, yeah. I have an Instagram account. My Instagram account is spelled A B D O U L A E V. Okay. It's just like my last name. And we like to end our interviews with a little dance. If your character does not dance, then make up your uh, own. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matt. What's your name? My name's Nell. And who are you cosplaying as? I'm cosplaying as uh, Eddie Brock with Venom on his sleeve. <laughs> I'm going to need Mr. Drake's property back. Oh. What are you doing? I'm, uh... You are making us look bad. I... No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Why would you do that? I will take care of this myself. What? I'm so sorry about your friends. <laughs> and how long have I been cosplaying? I've been cosplaying for about a year and a half. Did you like this costume? Yes, I did. While that looks cool, I can't even, I can't even tell that if that's your arm or that's your arm. It's up to you to find out. Dad, how are you liking the costume so far? Um, I just got here a little while ago, but so far it looks really cool. I've seen a bunch of my friends who I haven't seen in a while here, so I'm having a good time. Okay. And who would you want to get stuck on an island with? If I was stuck on an island with someone? Anyone? Um, hmm. 
probably... Oh, I can't think of it. If it had to be a superhero? Can I say Elastigirl? Because she can turn herself into a boat, so... Get you out of there. Yeah. That's <laughs> smart. What's your favorite quote from the character? My favorite quote from my, my character? We are Venom. We are Venom. Where can we find you online? On all my social media, I'm total nerd dork. No spaces, no capitals or anything. And we like to end our interviews with a little dance. If your character does not dance, then make a beer. My name is Val. What's your name? Black Manta. You're the guy from the sub. That's right! But now I have a glancy and steel. Call me Black Manta. And how long have you been cosplaying? Um, a couple years now. Did you make this costume? No, my father did. It looks cool. How are you liking the con so far? It's really good. Who would you want to get stuck on an island? I guess Aquaman. Okay. We like to end our interviews with a little dance. If your character does not dance, then you can make up your own. My name is Violet. What's your name? I'm Nene. And who are you cosplaying on? As Star Butterfly. Marco! There you are! No, don't. You're gonna wake it up. What? No, I said don't. You're gonna wake it up. What? <sighs> I said you're gonna wake it up. Oh, this is my first time. <laughs> wow, you look really cool. Thank you. And did you make this costume? No, my American dad, he made it for me. Well, tell him he did a good job on this costume. Thank you. How are you liking the con so far? It's really fun to see like the stuff I like. And who would you like to get stuck on an island with? It could be a superhero or a villain. Star Butterfly, of course. <laughs> What's your favorite quote from the character? Hi, I can't really remember, but like the first episode, like, Hi, I'm Princess Star Butterfly from another dimension. <laughs> we like to end our interviews with a little dance. If your character did not dance, then make up your Hi, my name is Val. What's your name? My name is Lennon Peterson, part of the Ghostbusters Tri-State Division. I'm Bobby Peterson, founder of the Ghostbusters Tri-State Division. Cool. And who are you cosplaying as? We are Ghostbusters. We are Ghostbusters that do charity work for our community. I'm coming into my 10th year now. <gasps> wow! Did you guys make this costume? Um, we... Parts of his. We made yeah. his uniform. 
This one here, all this gear is handmade. Wires, lights. These here are actually produced by Spirit, which are really good starter props for little kids because they're not real heavy. Same with the trap. That's cool. Who would you like to get stuck on an island with? It's either you could do a superhero or a villain. Bill Murray. Yeah, I'm going to have to say Bill Murray. He's pretty much a living legend. How are you liking the con so far? We've only been here for about an hour now, but it seems pretty good right now. Yep, good turnout this year, as always. What's your favorite quote from the character? I gotta say Egon Spangler. Favorite quote from a character? I collect sports books and fungus. I'm gonna have to say, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass from Peter Venkman of the first Ghostbusters. Where can we find you online? If you guys wanna find us online, we have a Facebook page. It's Ghostbusters Tri-State Division. And we're on Instagram, too, at GB Trusty. Hi, my name is Bob. What's your name? Josh. Did you make these? I did. I drew all of them. This book is really cool. Thank you. What do you, like, usually draw? I uh, usually draw comic characters, movie characters, TV characters, and kind of make them my own cartoons. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Where can we find you online? Uh, Artofknob.com. Okay. What's your favorite picture that you drawn? Um, right now, I think it's this one. Forky from the new Toy Story. I'm a big Toy Story fan, so I think that one was pretty cool. Are you gonna go watch the Toy Story movie? As soon as it comes out. Who would you get stuck on an island with? It could be a superhero, it could be a villain, it could be something from Toy Story. Well, wouldn't it really be really good to get stuck on an island with a villain? <laughs> Probably somebody from Toy Story. That'd be fun. Some of the toys. Yeah, the yeah. villain toys. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe Lotso. He smells like strawberries. I don't know who Lotso is. From Toy Story 3? The evil teddy bear? Oh. Yeah. Okay. The pink guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or Wally. Wally's cool. Wally's my favorite. Thank you for letting me interview you. Of course. I hope you have a great time at the con. You too. Hi, my name is Bob. What's your name? My name is Donnie Drum of Donnie Drum's Beware the Backwoods. Okay. And. How long does it take to do this mask? Honestly, it all depends on the specific job or the, or certain characters. I mean, if I get into a habit of doing a specific character over time, it just becomes practically muscle memory. But as far as resin, some, that can be faster because you can literally have stuff cure within an hour. Latex actually takes a while because I do what's called stipple casting. If you look on the inside here, you see this weird sort of area? That's because I literally take a chip brush 20 times with latex and build it up and build it up and build it up until I put the two halves together and we get this and I paint it. So this could take anywhere from uh, one week to about five weeks to a month, give or take, per mask. What started you making masks? Well, about I want to say during my middle school years is when I is when I really started to get into Halloween. You know, you had that was before the big break of the superhero films. Right around the time uh, the first Spider-Man movie came out, that kind of fizzled out. So that was around October. I tried looking for a mask that. I can find my satisfaction. All this searching led me into a place called michaelmyers.net and there I found a good forum. Not only did this introduce me to high quality masks like the one on the mannequin up here, but it taught me how people can hand make this sort of thing from scratch. And this isn't just horror or Michael Myers. This is everything. You can make this. You can make anything that you want as long as you know how to do it. Wow. 
and how okay. where can we find the store um I actually do not have a website as of now but I'm currently on a couple different pages if my Instagram is D M D 1993 or you can go on my Facebook my like page is called Donnie Drums Beware the Backwoods give that a like send me a message and we'll be able to find you'll be able to find my work and even order directly from me okay well thank you for letting me interview you I hope you have a great day <laughs> you too kiddo